If trash and ass had a baby, that would be North Carolina State. So North Carolina State, the Wolf Pack, AKA the Poodle Club, AKA the Neuter Dogs, AKA All Bark No Bite. So, so far on the season, you managed to make it to four and two. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. Now your only two losses come to the Virginia Tech Hoagies and your biggest rival, the North Carolina um, Mud Mudfoots, AKA the Tar Heels or whatever. You know, they blew you guys out. They beat you in dominant fashion. I think they always beat you. Your, your fan base is probably um, non-existent. Um, all of them probably all reside on a Facebook page where I never see any of, any of you guys, to be honest with you. I don't know how your stadium is so packed, but I never seen a North Carolina State fan anywhere. Anywhere. I do mean anywhere. I think once they leave the, the stadium, they take off their jerseys, they put them in the back of the trunk of their car, and they never wear it again. Because you guys are a freaking disappointment. You're all bark and no bite. You can win ACC championships, but you can't win national titles. Your national title count is zero. And it's probably going to stay like that forever. Okay? We're kind of starting to put you guys in the category of teams that has not won a national championship in forever. The Georgia Bulldogs! Now, every year they talk about teams that are back, teams that are backer, and teams are the backers. Normally, they say Miami, Texas, and Tennessee. Well, we can't even put you guys in that category because you was never here to be back to begin with. It seems like in the ACC, you guys seem to switch from team to team. Being their bitch. First, it was Florida State. You were their bitch. Second, it's Clemson. Now you're their bitch. Who's next? Boston College? Now, fortunate for you guys, after Miami spank you guys, you know, go back home or whatever, whatever it is that mommy feels like doing, you know, after spanking you guys, you get to get a win. You get to beat Florida State the next week. Yes, I said you will beat Florida State the next week. They're just as trash as you guys are. Now, you can win all the games after Miami, after Miami, Florida State. Liberty, Syracuse, Georgia Tech. I expect you guys to win out the rest of your season. But knowing you little poodles, you will choke. You will probably win everything except for Liberty. Liberty. Oh, you thought I was going to say Florida State. Florida State fans, back the fuck up. Okay, back the fuck up. They're going to beat you guys. Don't say a word. They're going to beat the brakes off of you. I don't know who's a bigger disappointment, North Carolina State or South Carolina. Who is the most trash team to you guys? Who do you give the trash award to, North Carolina State or South Carolina Game Puss, a.k.a. the Gamecocks? Now, you're raving about your little running back. Well, guess what? He won't get nothing against Miami. Haven't you noticed Miami defense has been stopping running backs Except for that big little kitten. We trying to get past that name. Don't even mention him, T2Y. Travis Etienne! Zonovan Knight, whatever you want to call him. Your little running back. He's not going to do anything at all. As a matter of fact, you should change him to a quarterback and name him Donovan. Make it easier. God damn. Who the hell give this guy his name? Zonovan. Y'all make it so much harder each and every year for me to do these videos with your messed up names and your crazy names. Now I got to pronounce them or else I'm going to look like an idiot. You damn poodles. Now you got a receiver. I think his name is 
Emika, Emaka. I don't care. You don't have a quarterback to throw it to him. You guys have been switching out quarterbacks since your quarterback hurt his little ankle. He had a little boo-boo on his ankle. Now you guys don't have a quarterback. So you guys are just going to let Miami come up there, bend you over, and go back home with the dub. It is what it is. Don't question it. No questions at all. Tell your coach to get his arm. Um, you, they were the better team speech ready. And we're going to go back to Miami, the 305, go back to the sunshine and the beaches while you guys stay up there in your neck of the woods and think about the ass whooping that you just got.